Hey everyone, Jenga here. Today we're looking at the BF109 G2. It's a premium sitting in tier 3 for the Germans. It's the Romanian version, it's got the Romanian skin. And uh, we are gonna fly it out, see how it can do, and after it we will make a conclusion and see if this plane is worth your money and uh, is a good plane to buy. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We are trying to get some altitude. Get up, we have a two airfield domination map. One of my favorites because these airfields are very far apart, so you really have to choose which one you have to want to protect. And that makes it uh, interesting. Of our B29, B29. Uh oh. That. Oh, and a tempest. I see a tempest as well. Yeah. Maybe we got up tiered. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Let's go for this attacker here. Let's see if he is aware of me. Where is that though? Get this doe in our sights. Unfortunately, we didn't get that third one. But that's life sometimes. Pit fire here. Need to get more altitude again. I'm gonna make a loop here. Up, 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 up. A is safe for the moment. That much is clear. We want to boom and zoom with this plane. So we, we went down and we stayed down slightly too long. Just now. Let's try to get this dough into our sights. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ah, come on. Silly of me. I got lured into a trap almost. But I got myself out. B17 is dead. We're going back up again. Okay. 
Now let's see if we can do something about these two guys here. Ah, uh, he's dead. That's a shame. That's a shame. But it happens. Let's go up. Bit fire. See if the LS7 does it? Yeah, the LS7 got him. He's a good shot. Alright, we got an A here. God dang it. Ah, we got an assist on that. Shit. Go for the other B-17. We got this airfield, so we switched airfields basically. Let's get uh, a reload here. Four seconds. That's that. Let's get our engine cooled a little bit, just a little bit. Now let's see if we can get A back without losing B. Always the idea, right? Alright, he wants to head on. Alright, that was good. Many guys over there. Let's get into action. Let's get into action. Let's see what we can do here. Three guys here. B-17. That's good. This is Come on. Got him. Come on. Yeah. Good, good. Turn, baby. Come on. Ah, he's destroyed. That's a shame. Okay, let's get... Get up as fast and as high as we can. 
We got both airfields. That's good, and we're gonna get into the stage of pushing them back to their airfield now, it looks like. An assist, that's a shame. Yes, sir. Flying on one wing. Nobody needs wings. Ten percent discount. All right. Hero of the Sky, Punisher, Survivor. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, ah, that was a fun match uh, with the G2. We even lost a wing there at the end. Uh, we may, with a little bit more luck, could have been able to shoot down one or two enemies, but we got a few assists. Unfortunately, but... Point proven that this plane can take quite a beating and still fly home and that is a good thing now this plane has an excellent top speed got a little bit off from the gun pot that I put on but uh, you're still well over 700 turn time also increased a little bit but around 18.4 and a climb rate of around 30 so uh, with those stats you can 
make this plane work. You can get up, you can outclimb most opponents. The firepower makes sure that you can deal with your enemies there as well. The armament is in the gun pod, uh, two 20 millimeters in the nose, one 20 millimeter, and in the nose, two machine guns, 7.9 millimeter. Now the MG 151 are one of the best cannons, and you got 200 M rounds in the nose and 250. A 125 in each of the wing mounted cannon pods making for a well centered uh, stream of fire from the nose and the machine guns and added firepower from the gun pods. I think the gun pods are well not essential but they make it a little bit more nice in uh, AB it doesn't do much to the flight model uh, it has little effect of course but it's still a good climber with the gun points it has still has great energy at retention and it's still very fast in a dive and the roll rate of this plane is very decent as well so I really love the characteristics of this plane and the BF109 line is definitely one of my favorites so for me this was a no-brainer to buy now if we look at the armor of course the characteristic fuel as a seat the fuel tank as a seat for the BF109s and uh, the armor around it pilot also gets good protection from behind and the bulletproof glass here in front so that's all pretty standard x-ray for the rest they kept it light only one spar in the wings for the rest you got your control services but um, yeah I'm always very enthusiastic when I fly this plane and any of the BF109 series by the way but the G's for me are together with the F's up there for me in favorites and this one is starting to climb more and more since I got it I am really uh, did uh, well in it and uh, I think you could do that as well so in the boom and zoom capacity there are almost no equals to this thing at its battle rating so all in all I would definitely recommend it especially if you like BF109s and you like the boom and zoom playstyle and you have the patience for it you need to do it patiently you need to keep your discipline but if you do so the G2 is a magnificent plane at 5.0 well worth the buy well I hope that helped in your future or current decision to buy this plane or not if you did enjoy the video make sure to give the video a like Leave me a comment and if you want to see more, subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.